ข้าวเป็นอาหารหลักของชาวเอเชียโดยเฉพาะอย่างยิ่งประเทศไทยเป็นผู้ผลิตข้าวรายใหญ่จึงไม่น่าแปลกใจที่ความของเราไรร้องไปด้วยนาข้าวอย่างไรก็ตามที่เอโคของเราได้นำเสนอการปลูกข้าววิถีการที่แตกต่างไปจากการปลูกข้าวทั่วไปสวัสดีครับผมชื่อลาดและนี่คือยุ่นภรรยาของผมครับเราเป็นเจ้าหน้าที่ปฏิบัติงานในฟาร์มนี้และด้านหลังของเราก็เป็นหน้าที่เรากำลังเตรียมเพื่อปลูกข้าว SRI ครับเดอะสิสต์มอะไรส์อินเทนซิฟิเคชัน SRI is a method aimed at increasing the productivity of rice by changing the management of plants, soil, water, and nutrients. The practice is based on four main principles: one, early plant establishment; two, reduced plant density; three, alternation of wet and dry periods; and four, improved soil conditions. One reason that SRI is effective is because it reduces transplant shock and seedling competition. SRI seedlings are transplanted when they are only 8 to 12 days old, a full one to two weeks younger than traditional seedlings. These tiny seedlings are still attached to the rice seed and can use it as a source of food for growth. At the same time, only one seedling is planted per hill rather than bunches of 15 to 20. Singly grown seedlings have greater access to nutrients, light, water, and oxygen, such that each seedling can grow up to 30 tillers per plant. More tillers mean more rice panicles, so that each SRI seedling is able to produce a greater quantity and higher quality of seed. In addition, alternation of wet and dry periods while the rice is growing allows for more robust plants while lessening water needs. Also, the planting of cover crops between rice crops allows for healthy management of soil fertility by returning nitrogen and biomass into the soil and providing a rich mulch for subsequent crops. The adoption of SRI for the purpose of seed production is particularly advantageous for all farmers. SRI supports effective seed selection and production as all the tillers of a given seedling are genetically identical. Since only one seedling is planted per hill, Farmers are able to identify the best performing seedling, collect all of its seeds, and know with certainty that these seeds are genetically identical. In the following year, only seeds from this one plant will be planted, and again the best seedling will be identified and its seeds collected. Over a couple of years, this allows a farmer to isolate good seed that will continue to perform well. 